Every year, prescription medicines kill over 100,000 people. The pharmaceutical industry has been excellent at convincing the public that they need their potions. If you watch any kind of commercial for drugs, they're always using the third person. For example, where does a headache come from? It comes from out there somewhere. Don't sell the steak, sell the sizzle. How many people in this country alone are addicted to antidepressants? How many people who are on antidepressants really have imbalances and how many of them just got off of a bad relationship and they're depressed? It seems to be acceptable to give people something as long as you're wearing a white smock um, or you've given them a legal prescription. It doesn't matter how deadly the particular drug might be in terms of side effects. What we call modernist medicine is actually the alternative medicine because it's, it's highly experimental, it's often dangerous, often toxic, and it kills a lot of people. To me, it's crazy. There's, there's a lot of stuff out there that will affect you in different ways. Look at aspirin, heroin, both in, invented by Bayer. I thought heroin came from opium seeds. And Just was... natural effect of opium, you yeah. keep making it more and more concentrated. No, you have to add certain chemicals to it and tweak it a certain way. It doesn't just come from opium itself. What was heroin made for? Uh, as a cure for morphine addiction and coughs. Heroin, the sedative for coughs. Pseudoephedrine, that's the main ingredient in methamphetamine, is to cure the cough, the cold. If you get a cold, oh, I think I'll do some meth. When you look at it from a large perspective, like, you know, what's weed? Even Francis Young, the DEA's own judge, who took medical testimony for over two weeks, made this statement. Marijuana, in its natural form, is one of the safest, therapeutically active substances known to man. Yet, despite this, and the ever-mounting number of real-world patient success stories, cannabis remains listed as a Schedule One narcotic. Under that category, marijuana is classified as having no known medical value. Uh, I, I have sclerosis. Hold on, no way. When we first met Greg, his shaking was so severe that he informed us that he would need a few puffs of marijuana in order to participate in the interview. The difference was night and day. What do you say to those that say marijuana needs to be tested and regulated and have the high taken out for pharmaceutical companies to consider it a valuable medicine? Huh. That's a pretty and I only mean this as a measurement as to how much it is actually a pathetic thing to say. I mean, just look at me. Is it not blatantly obvious that I have just enjoy it however many tokes. I look happy. Greg has been using marijuana for years and stated to us that he's never experienced any negative effects. I'm never. <laughs> I need, I need my marijuana. <laughs> That's <laughs> stupid. It takes away my discomfort, let's call it. It does enhance my very being. Where do you think you'd be if you didn't get to smoke it, like dealing with your pain? <laughs> I would have found a way.